We're here at the talk session uh, sponsored by the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board here at World Dairy Expo 2011. And always uh, for this event, we have a nice, nice table full of cheeses and special new recipes and creations by the chef here. And uh, he's, he's laying out some of the sandwich makings on the grill here and uh john why don't you tell us who you are first hi my name is john esser i'm a consultant chef for the wisconsin milk marketing board and today we are making some uh grilled cheese and turkey sandwiches and the cheese is is shredded up cheese it's called big edge it's from saxony creamery creamery okay so we're going to put some of that on here on the we've also put a little bit of butter on the outside of this bread with some uh, dehydrated dried onions uh, for a little onion butter and they get a little bit brown and crusty out there. This cheese loves to have some deep flavors, caramelized onions and that kind of thing. We're going to put some tomatoes on here on one side of the bread. Okay. And then on the other side of the bread, we're going to put some, some turkey slices. All right, and then we're going to do a little Dijonese right across the middle. All right, so then we're going to fold that together and cut that up. It's going to be a real nice combination. I had it. It is a real nice combination. All right. All right. And I love the way the cheese kind of, like you said, it kind of browned. It came out so nice and tasty <laughs> now what are you doing here well we've got a french onion soup all right now I, I, of course this is a little bit different than what a restaurant would do because they would put it under a broiler uh, but since i don't have that option here we are uh, melting it with a little torch action that's great somebody ought to have that in the kitchen right <laughs> do you keep one of your one of those in your kitchen at home oh yeah oh yeah really? so we got the french onion soup in, in the pot here and we are Floating then the Gruyere top crouton on top. That Gruyere is from, from uh, Emmy Groth case down in Monroe. It was wonderful, too. And you always have a nice uh, comparison here of the, the different types of cheeses and uh, what you have to go with them. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Well, um, here's a cheese maybe that some people haven't heard of before. This is called Papato. This is a, a Romano with black peppercorns in it, so it's got a little bit of a bite to it. The black peppercorns also come in there. That is normally a uh, uh, Romano that has black peppercorns in it. So that means uh, it's normally made with sheep's milk. But over here uh, at Belgioso, that's a total cow's milk cheese, and they really have a nice combination. There. This Swiss up here, Big Wheel Swiss, is a 180-pound wheel of Swiss, and it has real nice, deep flavors, nutty. Nutty is what I call that one. We got some brie over here. I put some black pepper on one side. People really like that combination with some cr dried cranberries. That works well. Uh, let's see over here. We've got buttermilk blue. That's a real nice creamy blue. Is that with the pistachios? Uh, yes, the pistachios over here. Of course, these are shelled pistachios, uh, which is a real enemy of mine because since you don't have to shell them, you can eat more. And uh, <laughs> That's really tough to stop. We've got some different provolones and some smoked cheeses. Um, let's see, down here we've got a, a four-year-old cheddar, which is real nice from Widmer's, and then American Grana from Belgioso. And then over here we've got some other nice cheeses along with some cheeses that are being sold downstairs in the dairy marketplace. 